Hi, my name is Ron Brown and welcome to this episode of G2B TV. Today we're going to be going through the quick and upgrade process. A lot of our clients are currently going through this process. We just thought we'd make a short little video on the process and show you so you can look at your own leisure. On the screen at the moment we've actually got the basic steps of what we'll be going through. We can recommend that you definitely do a backup of your data file. Now I'd be doing this to a USB stick. Validate your data file, just to make sure there's no corruption or any issues with the data itself. Remove any passwords before starting the upgrade process. Uninstall your old version of Quicken. It may prompt you during the process, but today we'll actually be doing that before we actually start the upgrade. And then, I'll, then finally the installation of the new version. So firstly, we'll do our backup. So simply go into your Quicken. We've just got some sample data here. Go File, Backup. As I said, I always do mine to a USB stick, so it, you can possibly even browse that. Just make sure you choose that backup. And then click OK. It's just warning that there is a file already on this USB stick, and it is OK to overwrite that, so I'll click OK. That's now completed. Now, if you've got multiple Quicken files, you certainly go to File and open up those other files and do the same with them just to make sure you get a backup of each data file because the backup only backs up the current open file. The second step on that list was to do a validation. To do a validation, we go File, File Operations, and Validate. It actually asks us which file we'd like to back do a validation on. So, in this case, I'm just choosing this GTP accountant file. OK. It's completed its validation, return no errors, so that's good. If there are errors, you'd need to look into that further and try and find out what's caused the corruption. Our next point on our list was, just to remind you where we're up to, we've done our backup, we've done our validation, now we're being prompted to remove all our passwords. So, to remove a password, we go File, Passwords, in this case, I've only got a password in the file. Now, I've already set a password previously on this data file, so what it's prompting me to do to remove the password, and it's also got the instruction down here, to enter the existing password, and then leave the two following fields blank, which effectively we're setting the password to nothing. All right, now we've removed our password. Now, as I said, it is highly recommended that you actually uninstall the Quicken, so we'll just close that version. To uninstall, generally I would go to the control panel. If you're used to Windows XP, you'll know that the uh, normal way to uninstall a program would have been simply to go to the start button, control panel, and then there would have been a prompt here for how to remove programs. In Windows Vista and Windows 7 and 8, you actually have to go to a, f a feature called Programs and Features. So if I double click on that, now this could take a while to come up, I've actually opened this just before to make sure this is populated already. But what you do, you scroll down and find the software you want to uninstall. So in our case we'll do Quicken 2012, click on that and click uninstall. It will just prompt us to make sure that we're happy to do this, we'll go yes, and it will start the uninstall process. Alright, now that's completed that process, we're right to do the installation. So I'll just close this window at the moment. So now back up to our last step here to install our new version. So to install your new version, you find the data file, and most of you will have it on disk. In our case, I've actually got this on our computer, on our server, saved down. If it was on disk, you'd simply go to My Computer and choose your CD-ROM. Alternatively, it probably would have already started as soon as you inserted the disk. So we just run our installation. Would I like to install it now? Yes. You know, running off the CD may be slightly different at this process in that it won't be asking to do any extraction. Alright, that's nearing its unzip phase, so now that will start the installation. Like I said, if you're doing it off CD, you would probably come straight to this point. So we click Next, always agree to the terms. Next, would you like to install the data converter? We'll just say yes to that. Next, would you like to put their hub investor on? In my case, I'm not worried about that. If you're into investing, you may want to consider that and do a little bit of research into it first. 
next now in this case I'm doing definitely doing Australian version and I'm going to let it install to its default location so we go next it's now about to install reckon accounts 2013 now that is something just to take note of uh, and I haven't mentioned it earlier uh, the Quicken company has now been taken over by its Australian subsidiary and renamed and rebranding everything at the moment and that company's Reckon so you'll find the Quicken home and business that you're used to will now be called Reckon Accounts so we simply click install and it's starting the installation process so this may take a few moments so we'll just watch what happens Alright, that's completed. Now we'll start the new software and we'll have a look at it. At this part you'll need to put your installation key in. The installation key will generally be included on the back of the CD or in some paperwork that comes with it. Once it's put in, you just click OK and it'll activate the software. It'll use the internet. If you haven't got the internet, you'll actually come up with another screen where you can actually ring support and they'll give you the keys and activation codes over the phone. So at this stage, I'm at my registration screen, I've got register. Again, it's going to the internet. Type your customer ID in. Now you may have to enter some details on these screens. In our case, I've already had this registered. So my registration is complete and I'm right to use the software that going forward. All right, that's the quick installation done. So if I just have a look at my desktop now, I actually have my new Reckon icon here. So and it starts the software up. Now in this case, it's actually opening up my old data file and you can see it's already got in the right folder and everything right to go. Now the process I've done today is actually gone from Quicken 2012 up to 13. The process is exactly the same from any version from Quicken 2004 through to the current version. So you shouldn't find anything drastically different from what we've gone through. You may have some differences if you're working on a different operating system. As I said earlier when I was doing the uninstall, this is actually a Windows 7 machine as opposed to a lot of machine clients maybe on uh, Windows XP uh, it's recommended you should be on Windows 7 possibly for this sort of software because it is quite modern software just final note would be just to check your bank accounts before you you start uh, possibly have it have your bank recs from last time check your bank balances it's probably recommended also you possibly print some reports but even before the process just to confirm them afterwards Hope you've found this informative and uh, useful and we'll catch you later.